Alrighty, we are back, yo. Uh, did you guys miss me a little bit? Did you guys miss me just a little bit? I know you did. I know you did. All right, so I'm gonna be back here on the mic. It's your boy G. You know, I might as well plug myself just a little bit. Please be nice. I want some Twitter clout. I see some super stuff on Twitter, so you can just kind of interact. All right, we're gonna be getting to winner semifinals. That we've seen the journey of these two players here on stream throughout almost the whole bracket. So this feels like a finals for us, you know what I'm saying? It feels like a finals for us, dude. <laughs> like, we've seen both of these homies have to go with some crazy comebacks to make it this far. And they are here right now. It's going to be Andres FN versus Zador. I wonder who's going to be taking this one. It's going to be super, super awesome to see. We got Zader there. Unfortunately, the homie. Yeah, he's got to let Andres be player one. So once Andres gets in there, then Zader come in. Yo, we're going to see. Remember, it is now best of five at this point. Best of five, my dudes. We are going to be getting here into game one. Now, I mean, yo, we got crazy players here in the top eight. Um, unfortunately, we had some crazy um, players who had to get eliminated there uh, in the bracket in the top 32 phase. But, man, we got Andres. We got Zador. Yo, we got Mute Ace and Not Off Temple on peak tournament stream. Pokey Lamb and Quinn. We just saw Quid and that craziness that he had to pull out. Pokey Lamb is right there. Uh, and then we have Hen and Gaming going off at it as well. So you got both of these competitors going at it here. Uh, and then now we're going to be seeing here what Winter Semifinals is going to be on this stream. And then Mute Ace and Not Off Temple on peak tournaments. And then Winner's Finals will be here as well. So that should hopefully be a decent breakdown of all the matches you're going to be seeing here on either the stream stations. Uh, but yeah, just stay tuned. Guys. We got so many amazing matches still to happen. Probably going to be up for another hour and a half to two hours. Let's get it going. Andres FN, Zader, toe to toe right now onto Smashville. Now I have to say here, if I was Zador, I'd be a little bit worried about taking Ken to Smashville. But hey, you know what, man? He'd be all the way here at winter semifinals, and he feels super confident enough to go ahead and take on Andres on Smashville. Yo, it's his call to make right now, though. It's actually super close between these two. So you see how it is. These two are super even now. But as I say that, yo, it's going to be Andres stealing it away right there with that nice little Shoryu. We got some Andres fans in the chat there with Kairu. What's going on? What's going on? We got 3DS gang coming out as well from Dana. What's up? What's up? Welcome to the stream. You guys see right there though. Andres gonna find his opening here with the neutral but he couldn't get a further follow-up in there. I like what Zador is kind of doing here. Utilizing that middle platform here. Kind of saving from the neutral layers, and he's kind of just keeps the pellets here. And keep Andres away. You want to not let Ken get into the rhythm, man. If they get way too much into the rhythm, it starts to get super duper difficult. Alright, good stuff with the back here, sending them out. Zader is going to keep this match close and even between these two. That sure you can though, not going to be enough just yet. And he's going to go straight into the Tachu, but it's still not doing it. Leaf Shield though, connected super nicely. And there it comes with a nice little... I love, I love the neutral pressure here coming out there from uh, from uh, Andres SFN. Now he's going to continue it on, but he's going to be missing on that shield. So he couldn't get enough shield pressure going on just there. And you see, once again, Zedor never out for never out of the count, man. He's always back in it. But unfortunately, that Shoryu is definitely going to be doing the trick. Mega Man, he's definitely kind of heavy, but he's just not heavy enough here to handle that fear Shoryu. Something that's going to be funny, though, is if Zedor connects with his own ghetto Shoryu on, on a Shoto. Yo, that's super hype. Hopefully, we're going to see that unfold. But right now, though, we're going to see here Andres getting back onto uh, onto the stage. And Zader is going to continue it on only at 40%, doing an excellent job. But he did expect to see a low recovery here to come out from Andres. But he opted for a higher one to get back onto the stage. Good down tilt right here. And I like the little jump that Andres does there. He doesn't necessarily continue on the pressure. He kind of just, you know, he was baiting Zader to react somehow. That's why he did the, end up doing the full jump. Right now, though, he still has him on the ropes. 113%. Man, Zader having a super hard time at the moment. Good stuff right there with the, with the backers here off onto the ledge. But that, the second hit is going to do the trick. Zador right now keeping it one stock apiece between these two. We've seen both of their journeys here on stream. Whose journey is going to end right here? There it comes, though. Zader taking his time. Now, we saw how effective the strategy was, but it just took a little quick roll around. Yo, he went in, yo, instant transmission right behind you. Nothing personal, kid. Up tilt into the shore, you. Andres is going to be taking game one.
At the end of the day, though, man, Zader doing an excellent job so far, though. He be doing an excellent job. That game one there, it, I mean, it did go a little bit more into Odessa's favor, but we're gonna see here. Remember, it's a best of five. We got plenty of time here to try to make any adaptations that are gonna be needed here into this uh, into this set. So and that's gonna be up one. Let's see if they're gonna be here in game two just yet. Yes, they are getting straight into it. There we go. Game two. Let's see where we're gonna be heading here. All right, back onto PS2. Now, I definitely feel like this stage is gonna be a lot more suitable here for Zadar here to pull off. I mean, it's it's a very good compromise between having a lot of room to breathe uh, and not being necessarily too small uh, small enough here for for Ken to kind of smother him. We see so far right now these two competitors trying to feel each other out. Very close percentages at the moment. But now Zader there with a very, very slight percentage lead. But can he expand it? I like the back air usage here from Zader. Now a lot of times it is his bread and butter to get the kills that he needs. But if at times he needs to use a GTFO move, he's def that's definitely been his go-to. And it has been effective. Gooey Bomb into the pressure. Throwing him off onto the shield. And what a beautiful play, boys. That's a clip right there. Coming up from Zador, the gooey bomb into the backer, send him out of here. Oh my god. Yo, that was disgusting. Now Zador here. Now Zador here is the one with the momentum and it's going to be Andres is going to have to make the comeback now. Alright, Andres gets a one up tilt in. But he ends up pretty much tossing the gear back into Zador's hands. But he isn't going to throw him off right now. But the recovery is going to be super easy here as you see Zadar makes it back onto the stage. No problem. Perfect parries are nice, but unfortunately there's no sure you follow from the up tilt. Andres is looking for it right now. He's only at 48%. So you see how he's kind of throwing out uh, his BNBs. Right? He knows if he can connect with it, that will be the end of that stock. See the chat going nuts right now, man. Zadar with that beautiful strength definitely is going to be a hype machine. But we see there, Andres has definitely been a fierce competitor. He's made a lot of ridiculous comebacks. It's going to be no different right here in Winter Semifinals. There, have a tiny esports tournament one. And now all it took was a down tilt into the Shoryu. And we got both these competitors here to the second stock. That shield be looking super small, but we're gonna see the get a sure you can done onto the shadow. You know for sure no Ken wants to see that happen to them, man. They're like, yo, that's my move. Why are you stealing it? Why are you stealing it? Yo, patent, copyrighted. But Mega Man don't care about none of that. He's like, I'll see you in court. Ghetto sure you're gonna be taking him out right now. Now we're gonna continue on to this battle where Zader has such a great lead so far. The battle continues on right here as Zader is going to try to maintain his lead as much as he possibly can. He is respecting Andres there. You see how he's kind of slowing down the gameplay, man. He's not allowing for Andres to have it easy, but unfortunately for him, Andres continues to go and chip at that lead. And there you go, both of these competitors down to their last stock. Only 63% there off of that fellow swim, but never mind here. Zader is on fire yet again. He's gonna follow him all the way down, but Andres is still gonna find his footing in here. There comes a neutraler into the nice little Tatsu. We got PK Mudkin coming in here too. We got all the homies here showing up on and see Zader trying to get this W, but Andres is not making it easy. These two players are toe to toe. We saw game one, definitely a lot more in Andres' favor. But now, Zader wants to try to return that favor, wants to take this to a game three where both of these players are going to be at 1-1. Thank you so much for the follow there from Real Steel. Thank you. Tuning in here to Tiny Esports Tournament 1. 122% here onto Andres FN. It's going to be a very scary situation because he still has the Shoryu, but he's able to fall out. We're going to saw this happen here last time around with Andres on, on the stream. That was a super crazy close match. He's able to jump right around that back here there. That's been proving so, so useful here for Zadar. That has been the BNB, man. That's the breadwinner coming in there. Coming with the back here. Back is going to be reading just like I see it. And it is going to be enough. Zadar's going to tie up the set between these two juggernauts. Man, there are so many... Oh, so you got 67s today? Damn, dude. 
I mean, hey, this tournament has been super awesome. But let's take a look at some of those nice little replays here that come out. Dater clutching it out time and time again with that nice little back here, man. Ain't no different here. You see, that's going to take the W for him. But such excellent play coming here from Zador, who's just been on such a break, uh, breakout performance today. Now, he has been done a lot of strong performances in the past, but, you know, at a, at a very, very big event like this with so many big names, he's making it this far. You know for sure he's definitely a crowd favorite right now, rocking that Mega Man here. Back, back, uh, back when he's a handheld GOAT to now being able to compete at this level. Oh, my God. This guy started. This guy started game two. So, sorry, guys. There you go. There you go. There you go. We're going to go into it. PS2. Game 3. 1-1 one, one each. Yeah, so that's how it be. You can see uh, the, the Twitch chat popping off on who's been taking taking the souls, who been getting the Ws, who do you want to see win. Both of these competitors have won all of the audience's heart, man. We've been seeing them so much here, pulling off some crazy upsets, crazy gameplay, just everything here. We've seen them both do it time and time again, and now they got to take each other on right here in game three, and Zayder almost popping off right there with that forward smash, almost doing the trick. He is looking for the back here. That might have been a problem there, but no, luckily here on this, make it back on only to be met with a back here kill here from Zayder. He takes the shore you straight to the top, and this is not having none of that, my dude. And you see the ton of respect there to come up on Zayder. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? That was pretty good. I ain't gonna lie. But there you go. Good sportsmanship here to come out. He's going to continue on the pressure. And once again, these two are just toe-to-toe. -to -toe. These are fierce competitors. We're seeing some awesome matches going on right here. It's going to be super exciting to see if anybody winners finals could even, uh, you know, hold a light to these two. We're going to see what they got. Because right now, man, this is feeling like the winners finals right here as Andres FN has the slight percentage lead up against Zador, who is just, you know, always making it super hard for his opponents. What a beautiful combination to come out of Andres. You guys cannot deny that. The down tilt into the jab one, jab two, sure you to take it away. And now he's got himself pretty much a full stock lead here going into this one. This is a best of five set though, don't forget. It is best of five, so it's not over till it's over. Now we're gonna see there though. Andres trying to get it going, but he's gonna get both to straight down to the bottom. There he comes though, he's got the gear in hand, he's not going to get the backer that he was looking for in Zeta right now, man. Just trying to apply as much pressure as he possibly can. He is trying to make sure Andes is not in that rhythm that's been causing him a lot of problems. You see how much faster Zeta has been playing now. But unfortunately, he's still getting caught with those downs that have been leading to a lot of percentage. And that should do the trick, and yes, it will do it. We are at one stock each here in Game 3. Damn! Damn, we got to get it. There comes the double down tilt into the Tatsu right here. Going to try to continue with the down smash. It's not going to happen just yet. But here we go. Andres is looking for the W. Gets to show you. It is going to be enough. Andres will be taking the set lead. Oh, man. Yo, what a set, dude. It ain't over till it's over, though. We still got some more coming up. This is going to be the winning Shoryu to come out there from Andres. But man, there were so many great moments in that match. You're going to see that nice little W to come in here. I think this is where Zader takes it. Just so much amazing plays being made, man. Over and over and over again. These guys ain't playing around. Oh, that was from the last match. Yikes, whatever. So while we're waiting right here, looks like they got the counter picks right. Oh, looks like these guys are gonna get straight into it. We gotta again. Y'all ready for this one? It's coming up. Let's get it going. Game four, where Zader is gonna try to go and tie up this set. 
Oh, we're going to be seeing Andres moving on here to winner's finals. Which one is it going to be? <laughs> I, I don't play though, man. Sorry, my dude. But there we're going to get it though. There comes a nice little gear to come out. And Hadouken here cleaning it up. And there comes a nice little leaf shield throwing him out of here. We got, yo, we got all these Mega Man emotes coming in the chat. Everybody looking here for a Zader W at the moment. And that's still going to make it back onto the stage though. And you see right here, once again, time and time again, man. These two just keeping it super close, toe to toe. And this is definitely going to be looking for that Shoryu. Now, it is going to be a bit of a scary situation here for Zato. Because if he does get the, you know, if he does get up tilted into the Shoryu, this is going to kill pretty early onto this, ma uh, onto this match. You got to watch out for it, but never mind. You know, that clean clips coming out here. A little mini NATO into the backer. I don't think Andres can make it back from that. And there you go. Zador taking this early stock lead only at 69%. I would think we might be seeing a game five. That comes with a fastball forward there right here. And Zador is kind of just popping off and swagging it onto Andres. He's going to try to make it onto winner's final. But you see right there, look how close that was to being a kill. It's going to be one of those scary situations for Zador. Sure, he's going to kill super early. And this might do it right now. There's going to be enough. And Andres is still keeping it close. Only 48%. That comes out forward air into the down tilt. I like that little string here to pull out. Now, one of the things here, of course, if Andres just comes in there on one little neutral air, we are going to see a hefty amount of string, so at least about 40%. But so far, though, Zaders do such an excellent job here. Not falling for any of that, not dropping neutral, keeping his position here, keeping that stage control. And he is going straight all the way down to the bottom, man. He be hungry for that stock. Get a shorty, though, to get Andres out of there. Don't forget, though. That sure you could be super strong. You gotta watch out for it. And you see just like that, man. Andres is able to go ahead right here. Gets percentage super close. And he re recognizes the fact that Zero does love to go right there into the gear, into up smash. He was able to air dodge away just in time. And he's gonna be able to keep this stock alive. Andes is trying to react very a lot to a lot of the uh, BMBs here to come out of Zedor that have been proving super effective. And he's gonna be able to get that nice little heal right onto him. Andres right now is in the lead, but it don't mean nothing, yo. Zedor right now still wants this W. Still winding this W, going ahead right here, keeping it super close between these two competitors. Zero percent, he gets the reverse, throwing it out there, but unfortunately getting hit right there by, sh uh, sorry, by the up tilt. Man, there's so much happening right now, I can't even keep up, dude. It's madness, it's madness. Dater wants to get this game five. Andres is like, yo, I'm just gonna go winner's finals where I belong. We got both of them here, hit with that little gooey bomb. It's just back and forth, man, looking like an anime fight at the moment. You see here, we got that gear right there in the middle. Man, these guys are playing hot potato with that. And it's going to get out of here now. But you see though, Andres is losing a, losing a little bit when it comes to the percentages. But Zader's doing such a good job of utilizing those platforms right here. Whenever he feels like he's not super duper comfortable to get in there. And Andres might just kind of pull off some, you know, crazy Ken shenanigans. He likes to opt to use the platform here to just kind of jump around. Get a lot, of, a lot of pressure here onto Andres. And not allow for him to be able to jump in very easily with the neutral air. Good stuff right here. He still maintains such perfect stage control. And this is definitely struggling at the moment. Backer has him off onto the stage. He's going to go over to Tatsu right to the top. Luckily, though, not getting hit right there. And that's going to be uh, very good news here for Zato, who did not get hit with a manual Shoryu. That would have been way too much of bad news. And that's onto the stage. He has that forward smash charge up. Can he go for it? Did he have a smash? It's not going to be enough, dude. Yo. I can't even commentate. This is too crazy right now. Game 4 right here popping off at the moment. Zeno is trying to look to take this into a game 5. This be crazy. The sure you missed this, but luckily he got saved by the gooey bomb. I hope Zeno does not bite him back there, man. In the end, that gooey bomb did end up saving the day here. And he, uh, and that's went for that sure you there. Once again, he's doing that. I think this time around, he's actually kind of timing it here. And the forward air is going to be enough. We are heading here to game 5. Holy cow, what in the world, man? What? I don't even know what to say. Oh my. Oh my. Crazy. Craziness. Craziness. These guys are super hungry for this W. Oh, I was so, I was so into the zone. 
I didn't get more replays. I, I apologize for that, my dudes. Oh, it's making my looking kind of ugly. There you go. Woof. Woof. Yo, I got to take a sip right now, man. It'd be crazy. Oh, my God. Thank you, Dan uh, Dana. Woof. Oh, man. Yo, we're going to be heading here to game five, folks. That's it. That's it. There are no more chances out of this. So we're going to be heading here to Lila Cruz. I do like the pick. Uh, I'm trying to recall who's counterpick. Actually, it's going to be Andres' counterpick. Definitely surprising to see that. I think Zeta was the one to opt to go for Lila Cruz in an earlier set there on stream. But we're going to get it going here. The Gooey Bomb is on deck there onto Andres FM. But he's able to go ahead and get out of that situation very, very easily. You see how the gameplay has slowed down to a crawl here in game five. Both these players recognizing the fact that there are no more chances here. Winners finals will be guaranteed money. So you know for sure right here, they're fighting for just more than just glory. They definitely want to get some of the bag right now. Kadoki though, going to come in nicely. Still not being able to get in there. But finally, Andres finds an opening with the neutral into the down throw to Doken. Oh, what a nice little bait. So explosive. Zader just coming straight in there. Once he sees that he has an opening, boom, he's all over it. There he comes with the Tatsu right across, and the backer is going to eat him up. He's still looking for some more, and there comes on his little uppers here. Still nothing to come out just yet, but he's going to get hit right there with the gear. There comes a double up tilt. Going to scoop him up right now. And then he comes with the Hadouken. What is he trying to go for? The backer still going to clean it up. Man, these two competitors just do not give up. They keep just relentlessly making sure that there's no leads allowed here in this set. You're winning, and it looks like you just ate, man. They're going to be able to bring it back. Zato right now, slapping up with the backer here off onto the stage. And, and this is finally going to find his opening here. Land onto Lala Cruz. But you see that gear coming in there. But now, unfortunately, this time around, it's going to be that down tilt into the Shoryu. Andres in the lead. Zato, though, we know we've seen this already. He has been down a deficit, and he has constantly brought this back. But this is applicable to both of these players here. They don't make W's easy for their opponents. But right now, though, it is Andres starting to kind of run with it here as he does build up a little bit of decent extra credit. That Tatsu, though, going to get slapped up right there as a Mega Man charges his own Hadouken. And this time, it's actually stronger. Dana was expecting the roll from that ledge to go into that up smash. But unfortunately, man, for him, he just did not get that right call. They're finally the opening that Zeta was looking for. That backer is going to go ahead and take out that first stock, but he's got a hefty amount of percentages here. As we're looking at 85% so far. And then still looking to try to find an end to this. He's got the double up tilt into the Shoryu. It is going to be taking it. He has one stock here, full above it. Can Zeta do this to bring this one back? He's got the Twitch audience right behind him. Can he do it for the homies? Andresto looking to close it out right now, but he cannot land. Finally able to go get onto the right side, onto the stage. And there comes one more more pressure here from Zador. And there's the nice little backer here. Is he going to try to go for the dunk? No, it opted here instead to go with the backer here at the bottom of the blast zone. But it's not going to be enough. And now finally, Andres, you see him here connecting with some nice little strings. There comes the cog right there. But what it's going to be the backer read here from Zador to apply some more pressure. Keeping him off onto the stage. Still can't get anything going. The thing is, man, Andres is just struggling. Even though he's holding on to the stock, he can't seem to put a stop here to Zayder's momentum. This could prove to be very, very difficult for Andres if he does lose the stock right here and, and Zayder's able to just keep it up. Zayder grabbing on to the ledge right there, hanging on. Knowing he's got all the time in the world, man. Don't mean nothing. There's still three minutes here left to this match. He's going to go with the down tilt into the Tatsu. And unfortunately, though, it just took one string here for Andres. And he's already able to go and tally up so much percentage. 149. Still living the stock too long, but finally, Zaydor finds what he was looking for. Gets the cog into the charge up up smash here to take it away. This match is far from over now. We're going to get both these competitors here down to the last stock in game five winner semifinals. This ain't even the finals, my dudes. It ain't even the finals. We're getting such an excellent match here unfold. And there comes Andresto trying to find a little exit. He get the double up tilt. Can't break the shield though. And Zeta was looking to go ahead and quickly wrap around him. 
Shoryu's not gonna be enough. The potential's just not high enough. Zaydor is given another chance, another Shoryu, but that time it will do it. And unfortunately, such an excellent performance out of Zaydor. My god, amazing play, but it's not gonna be enough. Andres is moving on to winner's finals. Woo, I gotta take a breather after that one. Oh my god. What a set. Honestly, what a set. What a set. These two literally played their hearts out, man. And that was just to get into winner's, uh, winner's finals. But we're going to see Zadar still have the opportunity as he's going to be able to take on Hen there in loser's quarterfinals. But that's going to be it here on the winner side as we're going to start to move on here to winner's finals. So while I prepare here on the... Uh, while I prepare the graphics...